And when Mia Yim is back in WWE, all the times they are changing. Well, got that out of the way. Enjoy the video. And so Raw happened last night and I'm about to watch it but I saw little snippets and again more changes which I think is great. The Saudi Arabia show Crown Jewel was pretty cool. Check out our video if you haven't. But they basically got rid of the 24-7 championship. Now look, I don't know about Kyle. I think that he... I would agree. In fact, we'll talk about it more on Friday, but I don't think he liked it. I thought it was a good idea at the time, which kind of turned out to be the shits. So, Nikki Cross threw out the title. There's that. Also, Austin Theory lost the Money in the Bank briefcase. And it's like, well, not the first time. Sucks when it happens. Ask Baron Corbin. Now, speaking of which, you talk about changes and apparently Hell in a Cell and Money in the Bank, all those gimmick pay-per-views are no more. They're gonna basically stop airing those, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, look, look regarding Hell in a Cell, I look forward to it back in 2009. But when I got the pay-per-view, there was only like one Hell in a Cell match that I couldn't think of. And that's what it was. It was two Hell in a Cell matches for Hell in a Cell. Two TLC matches for TLC. And so on and so forth. I think these pay-per-views or premium live events need to stop. It's fucking run its course. So... That's basically it, and I'm sure there's more added to it. There's some issue with Braun Strowman, so I'm not sure what that's about, but I'm sure we'll talk about that Friday as well. But anyways, that's about it. Talk to you later. Right. Bye. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming, but you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly... Gnarly. Really. Yeah, took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, you look at some of his earlier interviews, that 